Good morning. It is the Mountain Report. My name is Greg Powers. Live in the snowy dream as the crowd already collects out there early because we have got, uh, it's up to two feet in some, in some places. It is nice snow, uh, 14 degrees as we start the day off today. We, get, we do have some wind. There is a little bit of wind out there. That's going to uh, affect a few things here this morning. But what it doesn't affect is how much snow we got. And we, 24, it's, it's reported up to 24 inches average throughout the mountain. Okay? That is like how much? That's right. Andy, good math. See, look at that. I couldn't do it without you. Uh, and and we, we're going to find out more. Here, we're going to bring all the information here this morning. I know many of you are digging out. Uh, road's not too bad uh, as you uh, take 27. They, of course, worked on it all night because the snow came gradually, so that's a cool thing. And uh, lots of big, big piles of snow, though, so uh, that's a great thing. Uh, it's nice to have that buffer on the side of the road, you know, and for our stunt drivers. Uh, but we have got Andy here this morning at the weather desk. And we're going to take a look at weather trail conditions. Good morning outside, Andy. The WSKI TV 17 weather report is brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. Visit them in the village or online at sugarloafmountainside.com. Morning skiers and riders, Sugarloaf and Carabasset Valley. Hope you're ready for a great day enjoying the fresh snow just about two feet of new accumulation uh, throughout the day on Saturday and overnight last night. So we're looking good for today. Mix of sun and clouds. We'll see base temperatures 25 to 29 degrees with a noticeable breeze from the west, 15 to 25 at the base. Summer temperatures 12 to 16 with a northwest breeze gusty up there. So we'll have to keep an eye on any wind holds first thing this morning. Be sure to stay tuned to the Mountain Report and we'll keep you updated. Looks like for the day on Monday, we'll see base temperatures right around freezing. See, uh, southeast breeze 12 to 18 miles an hour, partly sunny skies with summer temperatures 29 to 30 uh, to 23 or uh, 19 to 23, I should say, with a southeast breeze. Once again, just barely noticeable up towards the summit. For Tuesday, partly sunny skies, a high of 34. Cloudy skies for Wednesday with a high of 39. Then we could see some unfrozen precip head into our area Wednesday night into Thursday. As you can see, a chance of some showers there on Thursday at the end of the week. Trail Report brought to you by Birchwood Interiors. Find them in Village West. 23 inches of new snow is the average around. Much more up higher on the hill. 159 trails of ski and ride on. 10 lifts getting you there. 70 trails on the groomers list. And we're looking at powder and packed powder services. 8 o'clock snubber. We'll get you up to the base lodge, skidway and sawdust, or move you around the base area. At 9 o'clock, the uh, Muscalator gets going. Double Runner West, Super Quad, and Skyline get going at 8.30 as well. And King Pine and Wolf Tree servicing the east sides of the mountain. They get going at 8.30. Bucksaw Express, the new quad, gets going at 8.30. And 9 a.m., Timberline is scheduled to go, winds and weather permitting. We'll keep you updated on that. Uh, as far as grooming, the groomers were out there last night. Timberline, Bridal Chain, Tote Road, King's Landing, and Hayburner, as well as Haywire. Over on the east side, Hallback, Ram Down, Lower East Side, Springboard, Pole Line, Stubbs, Buckboard, Cruiser, Two Hall, Wolf Tree, Slasher, and Rollway. And on the west side, Scoot, Windrow, Horseshoe, Lower Glancer, West Mountain, Good Chance, as well as Chipper, Lower Hatchet, Bucksaw, Lower Feller Buncher, Whistlepunk, Lower Beaver Tail, and Lower Knot Bumper. And, uh, Make sure to check the daily report as far as the uphill travel goes. Looking around to the uh, base area, all those trails groomed out. Lower Winters Way, Candyside, Boardwalk, the Landing Birches, and Snowbrook. The terrain parks get smoothed out every night as well. So get out there and enjoy it. This new snow will be great. Winter's back. Skiing is good at the outdoor center. They're grooming as they can. And the, Lord, uh, the Lodge and Nordic shop is open as well with some great deals. The Anti-Gravity Complex, a great spot for your indoor activity right down at the bottom of the access road. And today, you'll find the Rack Rescue Breakfast Shack open from 7 to 11. And this afternoon is Dyer and the Daydreamers uh, playing some live music down at the Rack. Carabasa Valley Town Manager position is open. 
applications can be found at the town website, carabassetvalley.org. And check out our quad camp so you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain in real time. So you can know before you go some weather information and whatnot on there as well. And check us out on social media as well as streaming. Lots of ways to watch us. Channel 17 here locally as well as WSKITV.com, the Spectrum app, and Roku. And we've got Watch and Win on Reggae Weekend. So be sure to tune in. Hi, my name is Barb Larson and I've been a sugar loafer since I was about 10 years old. My favorite way to spend the day at Sugarloaf is without a doubt with my daughter and my husband taking some turns on the mountain. We live here, we work here, our kids are in the programs. We have our finger on the pulse of the market every single day. If you're looking to buy or sell, please come and visit. We're nearly skiing, ski out right off of Main Street at Sugarloaf. All right, we are back. It is a mountain report. My name is Greg Powers, living the snowy dream, as we say today. We've, with the peak of sunshine there on our live quad cam shot, brought to you by what? Mountainside Real Estate. You know, you think the snow will keep them from opening? No. You might have to ride a chair with them. But you could go right there, check it out, uh, and come up and live the dream. As we take a look at this snow, which is dreamy, you know, we, uh, you know, Andy, you said it. You said the first of the month, you said, Greg, Winter is not over. And you were right, Russ Murley, boom, he was right. And we've got nearly two feet of snow out there. That's right, nearly two feet of snow. And uh, those of you who are shoveling right now, they, you already know that, but the rest of you who haven't yet, uh, Kip did some shoveling. Actually, I think he did the whole parking lot at his condo, because uh, he's like that. And uh, he's gonna join us if we can pull him away from the skiing. Uh, he's gonna bring us a report. And we're going to find out more about there, what's going on. Of course, first tracks for Gold Plus Pass members and why they, wouldn't you take advantage of it today. Also, you might want to take advantage of some great demos, maybe try out a wider ski today. And one more tip for you. You might want to just say, we got a lot of snow in Sugarloaf. I'm not going to be able to go home. I'm going to have to stay another day here. It's like an emergency. And you know what? I wouldn't blame you if you did that. Hey, uh, we have got some things going on around and about. We'll take a peek. Right now, here on the Mountain Report, of course, the Anti-Gravity Complex, looking for some summer help so they can help and assist with these great programs and uh, day camp and things of that sort that they do. If you're looking for indoor activities, health-wise, or a great place to eat right there at the Sport and Fitness Center and open daily for tuning. Right downstairs, you could drop your skis off, get them tuned and waxed du jour at Downhill Supply Company and Happy Tunes. They do a complete ski service center and will go in depth uh, because Lionel, the Lionel, is going to join us on set today. Made in Main Shop, still 30% off and other great items as well. You can check out Fodder's Hardware today. You can, at one swoop, you can pick up a shovel, you can pick up some chili always, and hardware all in one stop. Spillover Motel, newly affordable, family owned, seven miles north of the Access Road and Sugarloaf Rentals LLC, vacation rentals from Eustis to Kingfield. They handle rentals, Airbnbs, and more. Check them out on Facebook. And the Rack has got uh, great deals because it's depot dumping days, and they've got these Icelandic skis they're doing a drawing for to benefit Spruce Mountain. 20 bucks for a ticket. I got one. And Carabasset Valley, is, uh, the community is honoring Clem and Roland Began. They are, uh, have supported the community for, for a long time, done some great things, and we're happy to celebrate them. And they're looking for a town manager here at Carabasset Valley. If you're sitting here watching going, you know what? It's just meant to be. Uh, well, give them a call and find out more information about the great opportunity in a great area. There's none better. Live in the dream. And Catherine Kipp's going to join us. I think he, he, he has conquered everything this morning. And uh, we'll find out more in-depth information starting off the day. Uh, skyline and sawduster on Windhold. As I mentioned, there was some gusts up to 50 miles per hour, so uh, unexpected, but uh, things are going to change. Don't you worry. So uh, still going to be great skiing out there to be had today. Uh, we'll take a little break here. We'll come back. We'll talk with Captain Kip and a ski patrol, and we'll talk about things to eat all in a moment. Who 
Cool your fun at the Shipyard Brewhouse, a slopeside delight for skiers and snowboarders alike. We're serving up breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So stop them before, after, or in between your runs. The beer's always flowing and the good times are rolling. So check our website for midweek specials and the live music schedule. I pray all day with cold brews and mountain views at the Shipyard Brewhouse. Backco Financial is an independent wealth management firm here in Falmouth. We pride ourselves on building trustworthy, long-term relationships so that we can be the first call our clients make when they have questions about investments, finance, and life changes. Our team has a variety of expertise and professional designations that allow us to provide holistic financial planning and tailored asset management. Backco Financial, honest, independent, experienced. Bag burger. Love the baked potato, actually. Half in the bag punch. I love the Lifty Lemonade. Cheeseburger soup, very good. Pepperoni pizza. Uh, burger. Yeah, Valentine. Pastrami sandwiches. Uh, chicken wings. Bag burger. Cheese pizza. Bag burger. Whatever's on the menu. All of it. We're back at the Mountain Report, and look at the beauty of that. And where else can you find that? On, well, on our website. Many people probably watching now live streaming on our website, WSKITV.com. If you are a Spectrum subscriber, you can watch us on 17 locally, or you can watch us on their subscription service available uh, from Spectrum. And now streaming on YouTube and also Roku, where you have full resolution unlike uh, Spectrum, it's pretty cool. Check it out. 14 degrees, Mountainside Real Estate bringing this live quad camp shot. We are awaiting the report of Captain Kip. We're looking at some sunshine peak in there and we have got nearly two feet of snow. That's what? 24 inches, count them, that's a lot. It's about, you know, it was like up to uh, my car windows and uh, I didn't shovel today. Thank goodness for Andy. And uh, he picked me up here this morning. Kip was running a little bit late because he got stuck. These are all wonderful things because you know what? It's March. March used to be the snowiest month. Who knows? It could be again. Uh, we're going to take a look at uh, places to eat because you want to start your day off down at the rack. They're already plowed, salted, and they got this breakfast sandwiches ready 7 to 11 o'clock. Park right there. Take the shuttle out. Java Joe's is open. They open at 7 a.m. and they've got home-baked goodies and great bagels as well. And at delis, you can enjoy uh, great bread, soup, sandwiches, and hearty breakfasts. Four different ways to order. Brunch is happening 11 till 1 today at 45 North, located in the hotel. Of course, they serve breakfast daily. And at the Shipyard Brew House, they have got breakfast uh, 7 to 10, lunch 11 to 9. And you can get beer delivery on weekends and pizza. And at Bowinkles, they're open daily. And that is always a popular spot with delicious food and drinks. And today is Cheeseburger Soup Day and music, 3 to 6 with Old Atlantic. And at the Widowmaker, you have got Sunday Jay Larkin, 2 to 5. And uh, they've got Wednesday Entertainment, Apra Entertainment there as well. Happy hour today, 3 to 4, of course, at Mas Amigos, but much more than happy hour. Great Mexican fare there as well. Uh, and fresh produce, beets, everything you need to create delicious meals at Mountainside Grocers. 
uh, pick it up there, uh, friendly folks. Sugar Bowl is open. Uh, don't forget Taco Tuesday, one of their great feature nights. And Looney Moose has got specialty items like Eclipse Donuts and Whoopie Pies. What are those? Well, you'll have to see for yourself as you head up to Stratton and uh, go to the Flagstaff General Store. Probably some people there uh, gassing up their snow machines. Probably there's some brave ones up there, of course. Why wouldn't you? And the White Wolf Inn has got not your ordinary fare, but great comfortable atmosphere and accommodations as well. Pines Market, a beer cave, large selection of great cut, fine cut meats. Speaking of meats, you want to try some awesome prime rib, you want to do it right here. Burgers as well at the Trails End where the fun begins up in Eustis, Maine. Take me back to Eustis. No, before you go, I mentioned where you can find us, WSKITV.com. Kip is, uh, he is making his way out. I think we found him. I'm, I'm anxious to see what he has parlayed today for skis. Um, could it, could maybe it be like a surprise like today and a, a snowboard? No, it won't be that. But it will be something fun. And this is the captain at work. Let me just uh, explain to all our viewers what's going on. First off, it's <clears throat> Gold Plus Pass members hopping aboard in case you're wondering, how come they're getting on early if you're, you know, maybe a day skier here. But those, uh, you know, if you get the Gold Plus Pass, Sundays you get to get on early. There's a few other benefits from it as well. And uh, you, 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 and look at that, just like magic, Captain Kip calls. And you always want to warn him so that he doesn't say anything naughty. Good morning, Captain Kip. Don't say anything naughty. You're alive. I'm alive. Yes. Yes, Captain. Hey, you Andy, check here. this. Check this mic because it's not making the connection. No, it's working. Okay, perfect. Well, Greg, like real magic. quick, I say uh, pretty getting pretty windy up there. Skyline and Timberline, as you well know, are on wind hole. I'd say we've got. 16, maybe 18 of really light powder up at the top. So um, it's hard to tell. It's starting to get wind blowing, a little bit of some uh, drifts. I came down narrow gauge to go to Comp Hill, and there was a, I ran right into a drift about three and a half feet high. <laughs> but it's light snow. You go right through it. I, I've, I've skied sluice and um, Comp Hill so far. Really, really in great shape. Now, sluice, because it was wider, Greg, and the wind blowing, there was some. There were a little bit of drifts in there, so you had a little bit. Of, you know, you hit it and slow down, hit it and slow down, but uh, it's 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 so light. It's easy to push around. I would recommend. I went down uh, two made two runs on the new Matra Sevens. You can get a pair right at the Downhill Supply Company today. John will set you right up. Great ski for it. Uh, of course, I had to go get my microphone, so uh, I, I switched out to a little wider ski. See how that skis a um, Vocal Blaze. Vocal Blaze. It's a couple of years old, but it's uh, it's a great one. It's 106 underfoot. The um, Matras are 90, I believe it's 96 underfoot. But uh, 90 to 100s would be great today. You won't, you'll really, really enjoy it. Now, they're still grooming over on the um, east side. They're trying to flatten that out. Down low, like Boardwalk was groomed out, so if you want to take, you know, if you really don't like the powder, just want to take a few runs and some nice packed powder, you can go up the... Um, uh, up the double runner, just ski um, boardwalk. Cause that's all groomed out. It's really nice, really nice in there. Oh, it's great skiing. Now it is winter up there. I tell you, it's blowing top of Super Quad, maybe 20, 25, northerly breeze. And after all the shoveling I did, I get a little wet underneath here. And uh, yeah, 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 it was a little chilly. So dress for it. I, definitely a mitten day. I got the old socks on at about an eight. Well, all of the other condo members are really grateful that you shoveled the entire parking lot for them. Oh, man. I, 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 <laughs> I was out hitchhiking, Greg. I was out hitchhiking when the plow finally showed up. Oh, I wish I we had a picture it. of that. Oh, it, boy. Oh, anyway, anyway. It, it'll start to open up. You know, they're little, everybody's a little bit behind just because, um, you know, the snow and everything. You know, it's even the ski patrol is a little bit behind today, so. It's all good. They're, they're shoveling everything out. It'll be great. It's going to be great. Great this afternoon. The wind drops off. And uh, another sunny day tomorrow. Here's, I got two things. <laughs> First off, you know, we're out of practice. Yes. Well, we haven't had a good storm like this in a while. We haven't. You know, we, no. No. We haven't. Yeah, I've almost now, forgotten how to shovel. Ha, ha, ha. Now, but, yeah. And you said when you were coming down, you had to kind of, there was one, a wind blowing, and you had to hit it and quit and hit it and quit. Yeah, well, I did. It would, it would come, it would come in, and 
It will almost stop me some of the drifts up so there. So they, they call that a James Brown. Oh. Yeah, just a tip for today. Uh, you know, I yeah. thought I'd throw that in. He's out well, you're the, one. you're the one. You're the one now. Nadine uh, contacted us last night, and she said that one of the lifts from up top said they thought they had two feet before the wind picked up. Now, uh, you know, this light snow up top, you're not going to have that. It'll be blowing in to the backside, which, oh, baby, I wouldn't be surprised if that opens up soon. Plenty of snow in there now. Ting, and there's the kip pick of the day, the kip yeah. tip of the day right there. Can't well, get to it today, report. but maybe tomorrow. Right, right. Soon yeah. it may come, perhaps. Yes. You never know. Yeah, uh, don't. First, we'll wait and see. Thank you so much, Kip. We uh, appreciate it, and we'll get another First Tracks report. We're going to talk to a ski patrol, and we'll be back with more here on the Mountain of Ford. Stay with us. The WSKI TV 17 weather report is brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. Visit them in the village or online at sugarloafmountainside.com. Good morning, skiers and riders. Sugarloaf and Carabasset Valley. Hope you're ready for a great day enjoying the fresh snow. Just about two feet of new accumulation uh, throughout the day on Saturday and overnight last night. So we're looking good for today. Mix of sun and clouds. We'll see base temperatures 25 to 29 degrees with a noticeable breeze from the west, 15 to 25 at the base. Summer temperatures 12 to 16 with a northwest breeze gusty up there. So we'll have to keep an eye on any wind holds first thing this morning. Be sure to stay tuned to the Mountain Report and we'll keep you updated. Looks like for the day on Monday, we'll see base temperatures right around freezing. See, uh, southeast breeze 12 to 18 miles an hour, partly sunny skies with summer temperatures 29 to 30 uh, to 23 or uh, 19 to 23 i should say with a southeast breeze once again just barely noticeable up towards the summit for tuesday partly sunny skies a high of 34 cloudy skies for wednesday with a high of 39 then we could see some unfrozen precip head into our area wednesday night into thursday as you can see a chance of some showers there on thursday at the end of the week Trail Report, brought to you by Birchwood Interiors. Find them in Village West. 23 inches of new snow is the average around, much more up higher on the hill. 159 trails of ski and ride on, 10 lifts getting there, 70 trails on the groomers list, and we're looking at powder and packed powder services. 8 o'clock, Snubber will get you up to the base lodge, skidway and sawdust, move you around the base area, and 9 o'clock, the... Uh, Muscalator gets going, Double Runner West, Super Quad, and Skyline get going at 8.30 as well. And King Pine and Wolf Tree servicing the east sides of the mountain. They get going at 8.30. Bucks Express, the new... Quad gets going at 8.30 and 9 a.m. Timberline is scheduled to go, winds and weather permitting. We'll keep you updated on that. Uh, as far as grooming, the groomers were out there last night. Timberline, Bridal Chain, Tote Road, King's Landing, and Hayburner, as well as Haywire. If over on the east side, Hallback, Ramdown, Lower East Side, Springboard, Pole Line, Stubbs, Buckboard, Cruiser, Two Hall, Wolf Tree, Slasher, and Rollway. And on the west side, Scoot, Windrow, Horseshoe, Lower Glancer, West Mountain, Good Chance, as well as Chipper, Lower Hatchet, Bucksaw, Lower Feller Buncher, Whistle Punk, Lower Beaver Tail, and Lower Knot Bumper. And uh, make sure to check the daily report as far as the uphill travel goes. Looking around to the uh, base area, all those trails groomed out. Lower Winters Way, Candy Side, Boardwalk, the Landing Birches, and Snowbrook. The terrain parks get smoothed out every night as well. So get out there and enjoy it. This new snow will be great. Winter's back. Skiing is good at the Outdoor Center. They're grooming as they can. And the Lord, uh, the Lodge and Nordic Shop is open as well with some great deals. The Anti-Gravity Complex, a great spot for your indoor activity right down at the bottom of the access road. And today you'll find the Rack Rescue Breakfast Shack open from 7 to 11. And this afternoon is Dyer and the Daydreamers uh, playing some live music down at the Rack. Carabasa Valley Town Manager position is open. Applications can be found at the town website, carabasavalley.org. And check out our quad cam so you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain in real time. So you can know before you go some weather information and whatnot on there as well. And check us out on social media as well as streaming. Lots of ways to watch us. Channel 17 here locally as well as WSKITV.com, the Spectrum app, and Roku. And we've got Watch and Win on Reggae Weekend. So be sure to tune in. Hello, I'm Earl Morris, owner of Birchwood Interiors. For 31 years, we've been providing you, our fellow sugar loafers, with furniture, flooring, mattresses, and window treatments. But what many sugar loafers don't realize is the amount of construction and new renovation work that we do. From fireplaces to kitchens to bathrooms and steam showers, we do anything inside the walls of a house. We love what we do and hope you'll shop locally with us.
you know. Don't you fight us down, yeah. Don't you fight us down. Don't you fight us down. Them no want to see we sit on the throne. On the back of the hill, I'm a rebel with a cause. Never pass, Babylon a devil from the back of the field. I'm a rebel with a cause, observe the laws of my heart. I am a liberal opposer, practitioner of yoga, position of the cobra, tradition of the shona. Choose back my lineage to inner Ethiopia. Long enough can let me build the pyramid of Joseph. I will fix them, I call that meadow nature. When I see the sun arise in the sky, I call it Kepa. I pray secure the leper with praises and to letter. Them come here with them cross, but I said the ankh is better. Eh? We now want to see no better, rise up. Pick or take a life up, just sip the breath of life up. Eh? No, I'm no pleasure, make sure exercise up. And be careful of the one with to Jesus Christ up uh, on the back of the field, I'm a rebel with a cause, never pass. Babylon a devil on the back of the field, I'm a rebel with a cause. Observe the laws with no plans, no pile. Still I see you the leader, they on the back of the field, yeah. Humble as a lamb, me just follow the procedure. Rasta man a healer, beast get trampled on the heel, yeah. Me bust up every seal where them seal, yeah. Be the hope of chapter, then reflect upon the path of them. Focus on the acronym, for open up my chakra, them. Seated in the lotus, me a soak up all the oxygen. Kemetic yoga me bring over from the continent Africa, that's where we wanna be We living in a poverty, out of the economy Capitalistic and the materiality We no see reality, only periodically From the back of the field, I'm a rebel With a cause, never pass Babylon a devil From the back of the field, I'm a rebel With a cause, observe the dance with no plans From the back of the field, I'm a rebel All right, we are back. It is the Mountain Report. As you can see, we got a little cloudiness, and uh, there are some gusts up there today, um, gusts of up to 50. So uh, as the day starts off, we're going to have Timberline, Skyline, King Pine, going to start off on Windhold. Uh, 3T is going to run today, so that's some good news, and uh, we are going to uh, welcome that. And I'm going to guess that also the uh, training um, uh, for CVA folks, uh, that that T-bar, uh, the Kobe uh, CVA T-bar will run for that training uh, for them only at this point. Well, uh, that's what we know. And as you can see, the sun's coming out. Things are going to change as the day progresses. But what isn't going to change, it just might blow around to different places, uh, is the nearly two feet of snow. As Captain said up there with the wind, he, he's projecting around 18 inches of snow. Uh, still, a great amount of snow. Of course, it's going to fill in everything. Uh, Bracket Basin is going to look good. Well, when we can find out more information about that, we will. Uh, but right now, everyone's uh, uh, dig it out. And I know a lot of you are uh, going to be heading up here soon. And we'll bring you more information as we know it. And Kip's report coming up and much more to come. Stay with us. The floor you choose can be more than just beautiful, it can also make a difference. By being environmentally sustainable and better for the planet, it can last longer and be cleaner and healthier for your home. We care about the same things you do, which is why at All With Floors we only use responsibly sourced real hardwood and bamboo. And because we know the floor you choose can make a difference. All wood is available exclusively to this region here at Jordan Lumber. Please come down and see what we have. Ask for myself, Brian, or Alyssa. Ski in, ski out at Sugarloaf Inn for unmatched on-mountain convenience. Boot up in the comfort of your room, head down to your private ski locker, and you'll be on the chairlift in no time. After you spend your day making turns at the loaf, head back to the inn for our prey. With the Shipyard Brew House on site to serve you breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you'll be fueled up throughout your stay. See you soon for your slopeside stay!
Welcome to the Maine Ski and Snowboard Museum. Great location right here on the Access Road at Sugarloaf. Come on by. Our mission statement is to celebrate, preserve, and share the history and heritage of Maine skiing and snowboarding. And that's what we're trying to do. Check the website, mainskiandsnowboardmuseum.org for more information. The phone number is on there. You can call, set up a time if you want, or you can come down when, when we're open. Hope to see you soon. Located in Village West, the Sugar Loafer Shop supports the iconic Sugarloaf Triangle that is one of the most recognizable logos in the world. Founded on the traditional logo t-shirt and now offering everything from high-end fashion items, home decor and logo hats, to bathing suits, children's clothes, Under Armour product lines and original artwork and photography by local artists, the Sugar Loafer Shop is your one stop for everything logo wear. Stop in and grab some loaf gear today. Back at the Mountain Report, thanks for joining us and taking a look at a little bit of blue sky out there. Skyline Timberline King Pine Sawduster starting a day off on wind home um, with winds of up, gusting up to 50 up there at the top. But look at the sunshine peeking through. Uh, things are likely to change and uh, we will bring you that information as we can. But uh, as I mentioned, the only thing changing out there is where the snow is. It's just out there and... Uh, Kip gave us a report already. We're going to get another first track report from the captain. We'll talk to someone up there at the top when we can, but they are very busy right now. Uh, 14 degrees, and as I mentioned, uh, uh, you want to dress for it today. And uh, I wouldn't be afraid of, you know, that sunshine right there. Uh, I wouldn't even be afraid of that, that sunscreen. I know. It's crazy talk, Greg. Right? Uh, but that's what we have so far today. And uh, just want to let you know, also, uh, we'll find out more information about Bracket Basin as we find out. I, I don't believe that we're going to see cat skiing today. If there is, we'll bring you that information. We're checking on all of this for you. And we've got much more information, Captain Kip, coming up. But uh, also, we are going to have John McCatherine and Tom Johnston going to join us. We're going to talk about CVOA, lots of different things about that group that is growing and growing. And why? Well, because it's fun. They do great stuff. We're going to talk about that. All and more coming up in just a moment, and we're going to take a peek at some more right now. Stay with us. The WSKI TV 17 weather report is brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. Visit them in the village or online at sugarloafmountainside.com. Morning skiers and riders, Sugarloaf and Carabasset Valley. Hope you're ready for a great day enjoying the fresh snow. Just about two feet of new accumulation uh, throughout the day on Saturday and overnight last night. So we're looking good for today. Mix of sun and clouds. We'll see base temperatures 25 to 29 degrees with a noticeable breeze from the west, 15 to 25 at the base. Summer temperatures 12 to 16 with a northwest breeze gusty up there. So we'll have to keep an eye on any wind holds first thing this morning. Be sure to stay tuned to the Mountain Report and we'll keep you updated. Looks like for the day on Monday, we'll see base temperatures right around freezing. See uh, southeast breeze, 12 to 18 miles an hour, partly sunny skies, with summer temperatures 29 to 30 uh, to 23, or uh, 19 to 23, I should say, with a southeast breeze once again, just barely noticeable up towards the summit. For Tuesday, partly sunny skies, a high of 34. Cloudy skies for Wednesday with a high of 39. Then we could see some unfrozen precip head into our area Wednesday night into Thursday. As you can see, a chance of some showers there on Thursday at the end of the week. Trail report brought to you by Birchwood Interiors. Find them in Village West. 23 inches of new snow is the average around. Much more up higher on the hill. 159 trails of skiing and ride on. 10 lifts getting you there. 70 trails on the groomers list. And we're looking at powder and packed powder services. 8 o'clock snubber will get you up to the base lodge. Skidway and Sawduster move you around the base area. And 9 o'clock the uh, Muscalator gets going. Double Runner West, Super Quad, and Skyline get going at 8.30 as well. And King Pine and Wolf Tree servicing the east sides of the mountain. They get going at 8.30. Bucksaw Express, the new quad, gets going at 8.30. And 9 a.m. Timberline is scheduled to go, winds and weather permitting. We'll keep you updated on that. Uh, as far as grooming, the groomers were out there last night. Timberline, Bridal Chain, Tote Road, King's Landing, and Hayburner, as well as Haywire. If over on the east side, Hallback, Ram Down, Lower East Side, Springboard, Pole Line, Stubbs, Buckboard, Cruiser, Two Hall, Wolf Tree, Slasher, and Rollway. And on the west side, Scoot, Windrow, Horseshoe, Lower Glancer, West Mountain, Good Chance, as well as Chipper, Lower Hatchet, 
Bucksaw, Lower Feller Buncher, Whistlepunk, Lower Beaver Tail, and Lower Knot Bumper. And uh, make sure to check the daily report as far as the uphill travel goes. Looking around to the uh, base area, all those trails groomed out. Lower Winter's Way, Candy Side, Boardwalk, the Landing Birches, and Snowbrook. The terrain parks get smoothed out every night as well. So get out there and enjoy it. This new snow will be great. Winter's back. Skiing is good at the Outdoor Center. They're grooming as they can. And the Lord, uh, the Lodge and Nordic Shop is open as well with some great deals. The Anti-Gravity Complex, a great spot for your indoor activity right down at the bottom of the access road. And today, you'll find the Rack Rescue Breakfast Shack open from 7 to 11. And this afternoon is Dyer and the Daydreamers uh, playing some live music down at the Rack. Carabasset Valley Town Manager position is open. Applications can be found at the town website, carabassetvalley.org. And check out our quad cam so you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain in real time so you can know before you go some weather information and whatnot on there as well. And check us out on social media as well as streaming. Lots of ways to watch us. Channel 17 here locally as well as WSKI TV. Dot com, the Spectrum app, and Roku, and we've got Watch and Win on Reggae Weekend, so be sure to tune in. Hi, I'm Deb Pierce. I've been a sugar loafer since 1975. My style is really low pressure um, and nurturing. I like helping people through the whole process, make them feel comfortable. Um, I'm a good listener. This market is crazier than I've ever seen. So if you're looking to buy or sell, please come see me here right in the village. Um, we're here every day, 9 to 5. Bracket Basin is Sugarloaf's newest terrain. This is expert terrain and not for everybody. Here are a few guidelines to follow when you're skiing and riding in Bracket Basin. Know before you go. Familiarize yourself with the trail map. Ask questions. Stop by the Sugarloaf Ski Patrol on Spill crosscut and talk with a patroller if you have any questions or concerns. Be sure to read and understand all the safety signage. Three and three rule. Always ski and ride in a group of at least three people and never enter Breckett Basin after 3 p.m. Have a meetup plan in case you get separated from your group. Know your landmarks. Observe landmarks while in Breckett Basin in the event of getting lost. This will help identify your location. Do not ski beyond ski area boundaries. Carry a cell phone. It could be a valuable tool if you need help. For more information, go to sugarloaf.com. All right, we're back, brightening up a little bit here. And this quad cam shot available on our website. And uh, with the eclipse coming, all of the rooms and many of the places are all filled up around here because... It is going to be a great viewing uh, point. Now, is our camera going to be pointed at the eclipse? No, but you'll be able to see a lot of activity out here, of course. And, and I'm sure people all over the world will be checking it out. Hey, there's still room for a quad cam sponsor. Give us a call. Hey, here's how we start the day off. Uh, Skyline, Timberline, King Pine, and Sawdust are starting the day off on Windhold. Um, you know, the Super Quad is running, of course, Gold Plus Pass members. Uh, hopping on there early, you will be able to as well, and ho hopefully enjoy the sun as we are going to see a little bit of sunny skies today, and we are going to see this uh, snow blow around in different places. It's going to be a great day for skiing and riding today, and uh, we'll be able to take advantage of the nearly two feet of snow, about 18 inches up there at the top, but there's uh, it's blowing around. Captain Kip, uh, we'll see what he's skiing on today. We'll see what he has to say about conditions coming up. And we'll bring you Captain Kip right after this quick break. And also, we're going to talk with uh, Tom Johnston and um, John McCatherine from CBOA. All that coming up. Stay with us. Who's tired of standing in the beer aisle trying to make sense of 1,000 different IPAs? Can't there just be an easy choice? Shipyard's American Pale Ale cuts through the noise. It is the American Craft Classic. Perfectly balanced and bursting with just the right amount of modern hop flavors. This is a beer for beer lovers that just don't need to overthink it. Delicious, flavorful, craft you can rely on. Shipyard APA. The perfect choice every time.
my name is Meryl Duty and I groom the trails. Uh, Buster is our lead winch cat operator. He's been grooming, I believe, 20 years. He does incredible work. He really cares about the mountain and where the snow is. He also has done a great deal of the grading and installing snowmaking pipe. He runs our excavator on the summer crew, so he knows the hill probably better than anyone as far as what's under the snow. Winch Cat is a groomer with a winch mounted on the back to assist it in descending and climbing the steeper pitches. It enables the cat to move more snow uphill, which is what we try to do all the time, so the snow doesn't all fall down. Uh, you know, you can cover the thin spots, cover the rocks, and uh, push the snow into the places you want. You can climb without spinning, um, and your tiller pass comes out nicer. We usually do gauge headwall, sluice headwall, upper Gandhi, nitro, and we try to at least once a week also do the top pitch of Widowmaker, the top pitch of Ramdown, and the bottom pitches of Kings and Hayburner. Um, we also, if, when we get a big snowstorm, the winch does a lot of the middle of the mountain the first time after the snow. And uh, when we grade trails out from new snowmaking, the winch often has to help finish anything that's steep because the new snow gets worked up and too soft and sugary for the free cats to climb it. We have two winch cats. They're both BR 350 Prenoths, uh, 350 horsepower. Winch cable starts off with 3,000 feet of cable and sometimes has to get shortened due to kinks or wear in the end of the cable. Uh, so they can go from the summit to below mid-station with that much cable. They can go from the summit down white nitro and down the pitch of boom auger on that cable on one pull. It's pretty cool. It's really neat. The guys that work second shift often see beautiful sunrises and get to see weather systems moving in and out. And uh, it's just a cool time to be on the hill when the pink light hits the mountains. back with the legend Captain Kip. He's joining us. Tell us what you know out there, my friend. Well, the wind hasn't let up any, I'll tell you that. Still pretty windy. Uh, Skyline and Timberline is still on wind hole. There's no skiing um, east of uh, Gandhi Line right now. They broke that all off. And I'm not sure uh, if that's because the groomers, I know there was a groomer, uh, I don't think it was stuck, it was broken down on, on narrow gauge earlier, but it's gone now. So. Well, no, they're still grooming it. They're straightening it out. You can imagine the struggle. Uh, if you had a hard time getting up here or getting out of your driveway, folks started at 4 to get up here by 6. So, yeah, yeah. and the, I'll tell you, the lifties did a great job getting things ready. Ski patrol was right up here. It was easier if you lived off mountain to get here than you lived uh, on mountain to get here. I'll t I, I can vouch for that, right? <laughs> yeah, hard to believe. Uh, I heard that. 3T was going to run. You hear anything about that? It's spinning now. I haven't seen him running, but I see it spinning okay. when I just went through. Yeah. Uh, it's still good snow. It's quite chopped up with a limited amount of terrain open right now and uh, the number of people skiing it. Pretty chopped up. It's soft. You want to have a pair of wide skis. Try not to lean back too much because if you lean back too much in the snow, it'll be about two runs and you'll be done. Your thighs will, you know, be screaming at you. You know, it's, it's, it's really good skiing. It's nice and soft. People have a great time with it. I'd, I'd say maybe 18 inches, Greg. It, it's hard to tell, but I think we got about 18 inches. Sun's coming out. Still a little squally, getting a few squalls here and there. If you could shuffle out, come on up. It's going to be great today, tomorrow, and go right on down, though. I mean, you know, this is just great snow. I, I want to talk to those people who told us that winter was over. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know where they go. 
Right. And we are looking forward to, uh, that's right, if you want to uh, make reservations tomorrow, you know, now's the time. Just do it because yeah. it's going to be great tomorrow. Right, right. Stop in the Downhill Supply Company and demo some wide skis today. You'll be happy you did. Fantastic. Great. Awesome, Kip. We'll look forward to another report from you. And uh, thank you so much. Brought to you by the Downhill Supply Company. And joining us here, riding the chair this morning, you know, the snow isn't going to stop them. I said, oh, the storm, you made it through. And I got a from you. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Johnston and uh, John McCatherine is here. Welcome, yeah. guys. Good to see you. Nice Good to morning. see you, huh? Indeed. Yeah. What do you think about the snow, first of all? Fantastic. Yeah. It's nice to see it. Yeah. yeah. Now, yeah. You, you just got back from a, a trip, didn't you? Yes, yeah. just back from uh, Quebec. Quebec. Well, a little background information. Both of you folks are, are here. We're going to talk about CVOA, of course, many different things about CVOA. And one of the things is, of course, the trips. Was that a CVOA trip? Yes, it was. Well, tell yes, us more. Well, there were uh, about uh, 36 of us who went up to uh, the province of Quebec, stayed in Quebec City, uh, skied uh, the three ski areas around there. Yeah. And we had a great time. Yeah. I mean, uh, not only was the skiing good, but uh, the city is a wonderful place to to go out to eat, to do things. Yeah. I mean, we, we had some non-skiers in our group, and they took took in the uh, Museum of Beaux-Arts, and it was just a... Why wouldn't it, you? Right? Yeah. yeah. So did you say it was a little windy up there? <laughs> it was a little windy, yeah, but, just like but, home. but yes, it yeah. did. It felt yeah. like home. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Now, John, uh, the CVOA, there's an original nine people that, that put this organization, am I correct? Can you give us background on that? Yes, I can. Uh, like a, like a lot of good things in Carabasset Valley, it started with beer. Of <laughs> course, <laughs> great. Back, uh, it was in December of 1999. And a cocktail napkin. Uh, well, yeah, I think there was. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the Penobscot Indian Nations had uh, cl shut down one half of the uh, volume of the property in the town that they own uh, because they had concerns about the misuse and abuse of the property, as it turned out, I think. There were a lot of contractors who had been working in on their property, leaving equipment and junk and stuff. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but in the process, they determined that they might, might be shut, smart to shut it down for a while. Uh, and uh, I went, went into Tofolio's on Friday night, where there's usually a gathering of locals, and a fellow by the name of George Abbott, who has hunted and fished and probably hit every pond and every acre of uh, land around here over the years was sitting very full on at the bar, complaining that he felt like he was being held captive in his own backyard. Uh, and we began to talk about the fact that the uh, wonderful access that they had provided for all those years on that land had, had been uh, shut down for a while. So we decided we ought to get together, take a look at the issues and see what we could do. Brought a small group together at my house uh, on December 9th, and I think that's when we decided that we we're going to piece together an organization to work with the landowners in the area uh, and uh, to, to, to do what we could to, uh, as the mission statement says, support and, and conserve uh, the property in the area and the natural resources and so forth. Uh, so, so that was the beginning. It took a few meetings, but uh, early in 2000, uh, we we were organized. It was actually, I, I believe, the date was sometime in December of '99 that we formally organized, and uh, uh, it, it was kind of interesting. One of the first things we did was to work with the Penobscots and say, "Let us come in and, and uh, put a crew together and help you clean up." Mm -hmm. uh, so we had a huge crowd that showed up. Uh, uh, went out and walked every trail and every road that we could possibly get to and uh, brought in tons and tons of uh, you know materials that had been left most of it wasn't stuff that that folks uh, would carry on their backpack on a hike you, know, you don't take a five gallon oil can with you when you go <laughs> go for a walk Not up, generally. Uh, no. up no. Buffalo Mountain yeah. and and uh, so I think that helped things get get going and and it wasn't too long after that that the uh, Board of Selectmen uh, we were able to sit down and reestablish relationships with the Penobscot. And it's been great for many, many years, ever since really, up until a couple of years ago when, for other reasons, some political, 
uh, that uh, they decided once again to, to close down the property. And we've been attempting to work CBOA in the town, uh, and uh, so far there's nothing new there. But the original nine were, uh, let me see if I can get them all, uh, myself, uh, Neil Trask, the late Neil Trask, sure. uh, Dick Cromit, now also gone, uh, uh, Paul Hularis, Annie Toole, uh, uh, Sherry uh, Packard, uh, Dick Cromit, I mentioned, oh, I'm going to miss a couple here, but uh, uh, it, it was a group of essentially people down in the valley, all of whom had been using the, the properties over the years for hiking, biking, you know, just, just enjoying it. It's expanded and expanded. So, so, How so many that numbers was, now that was from the of, original nine? Oh, my goodness. Well, we're, uh, we, we're up, uh, up near 1,000 members. Near 1,000. Yeah. Caravazza Valley Outdoor dot org i mean dot com that's their uh, website address stay with us we'll be right back with more cv outdoors dot com that's their website check it out we'll be right back talk more about cvoa and more The WSKI TV 17 weather report is brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. Visit them in the village or online at sugarloafmountainside.com. Morning skiers and riders, Sugarloaf and Carabasset Valley. Hope you're ready for a great day enjoying the fresh snow. Just about two feet of new accumulation uh, throughout the day on Saturday and overnight last night. So we're looking good for today. Mix of sun and clouds. We'll see base temperatures 25 to 29 degrees with a noticeable breeze from the west 15 to 25 at the base. Summer temperatures 12 to 16 with a northwest breeze gusty up there. So we'll have to keep an eye on any wind holds first thing this morning. Be sure to stay tuned to the mountain report and we'll keep you updated. Looks like fourth day on Monday. We'll see base temperatures right around freezing. See uh, southeast breeze 12 to 18 miles an hour. Partly sunny skies with summer temperatures 29 to 30 uh, to 23 or uh, 19 to 23 i should say with a southeast breeze once again just barely noticeable up towards the summit for tuesday partly sunny skies a high of 34 cloudy skies for wednesday with a high of 39 then we could see some unfrozen precip head into our area wednesday night into thursday as you can see a chance of some showers there on thursday at the end of the week Trail report brought to you by Birchwood Interiors. Find them in Village West. 23 inches of new snow is the average around, much more up higher on the hill. 159 trails of ski and ride on, 10 lifts getting you there, 70 trails on the groomers list, and we're looking at powder and packed powder services. 8 o'clock, Snubber will get you up to the base lodge, Skidway and Sawduster move you around the base area, and 9 o'clock, the uh, Muscalator gets going, Double Runner West, Super Quad, and Skyline get going at 8.30 as well. And King Pine and Wolf Tree servicing the east sides of the mountain, they get going at 8.30. Bucksaw Express, the new... Quad gets going at 8.30 and 9 a.m. Timberline is scheduled to go, winds and weather permitting. We'll keep you updated on that. Uh, as far as grooming, the groomers were out there last night. Timberline, Bridal Chain, Tote Road, King's Landing, and Hayburner, as well as Haywire. If over on the east side, Hallback, Ramdown, Lower East Side, Springboard, Pole Line, Stubbs, Buckboard, Cruiser, Two Hall, Wolf Tree, Slasher, and Rollway. And on the west side, Scoot, Windrow, Horseshoe, Lower Glancer, West Mountain, Good Chance, as well as Chipper, Lower Hatchet, Bucksaw, Lower Feller Buncher, Whistlepunk, Lower Beaver Tail, and Lower Knot Bumper. And uh, be sure to check the daily report as far as the uphill travel goes. Looking around to the uh, base area, all those trails groomed out. Lower Winter's Way, Candy Side, Boardwalk, the Landing Birches, and Snowbrook. The terrain parks get smoothed out every night as well. So get out there and enjoy it. This new snow will be great. Winter is back. Skiing is good at the Outdoor Center. They're grooming as they can. And the Lord, uh, the Lodge and Nordic Shop is open as well with some great deals. The Anti-Gravity Complex, a great spot for your indoor activity right down at the bottom of the access road. And today, you'll find the Rack Rescue Breakfast Shack open from 7 to 11. And this afternoon is Dyer and the Daydreamers uh, playing some live music down at the Rack. Carabasa Valley Town Manager position is open. Applications can be found at the town website, carabasavalley.org. And check out our quad camp so you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain in real time so you can know before you go some weather information and whatnot on there as well. And check us out on social media as well as streaming. Lots of ways to watch us. Channel 17 here locally as well as WSKITV.com, the Spectrum app, and Roku. And we've got Watch and Win on Reggae Weekend, so be sure to tune in. 
I'm Michelle DeFrosia. I've been the business manager here at Birchwood Interiors for over a decade. I'm part of a team that I'm very proud of. Our company's goal to treat every customer who walks through the door as our best friend isn't just a slogan. Our clients really do become our friends. The trust that our clients put in us is refreshing in today's world. All of us at Birchwood Interiors seek every day to work with integrity and professionalism that will continue to earn that trust. We're in Village West. So come on in, pull up a sofa, and see what we can do for you. Look at that beautiful shot right there, gentlemen. Huh? Yeah. As you can see with those clouds racing across there, there still is some wind out there, so we're going to have to deal with that. But 15 degrees here. Mountainside Real Estate bringing this live quad cam shot as the sun beams now. It's spring like sun, winter like snow out there. Uh, we've got uh, 18 inches as the captain reports, and he's been up there and he measured it, and I trust him. And uh, we've got it blown around, filling in some areas uh, and loving it. Uh, Skyline, Timberline, King Pine starting the day off on Windhold. Um, we're hoping that changes, and I know. We mentioned 3T is scheduled to run today, and Kappa mentioned it was turning, but not open yet, but maybe now, and uh, we'll check back on that. Um, joining us in the chair, John McCatherine and Tom Johnston, and we're talking about CBOA. We talked a little bit about the history and the mission statement and things of that sort that you do. Um, of course, the fun things, as we referenced with the, with the trips, another component or accomplishment, I would call it, is the uh, Trask shooting range. Uh, tell us about that, because that's a great accomplishment, and uh, I think it was great that uh, the ceremony when you dedicated that yeah, as well. Yeah, that was super. <clears throat> right from the beginning, as soon as we got organized, uh, Neil had always been concerned about uh, a safe place to shoot. Several neighbors had complained about gravel pits being used nearby and things of that nature. So he was just determined to find a place to have a safe uh, shooting facility. And he happened to be on the board of the sanitary district, which owned a significant piece of land up there, which we eventually leased. Initially, we had this little gully about 100 yards long. That you had to take your life in your hands to climb down into it. But once you're in there, it was totally safe. No bullet, unless you shot straight up, could <laughs> get like out of there. combat. It. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, uh, <clears throat> So we started with a rifle range down there, and over over time uh, spread out to the point where now there are now uh, uh, that's a 50-yard pistol range, 25, 25-yard pistol range, 100-yard rifle range, and a 50-yard yeah, rifle right. range, and a huge area. Well, I don't know, probably five acres, four or five acres, right. for uh, shotgun usage. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's a beautiful facility. And the classic clay pigeons. Yep. Yes. Yeah, and, the five and, stand and the trap. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. it is a big field out there. Well, it's, it's right there in the yeah. picture. Yeah. Right. A huge field where uh, <clears throat> folks come in uh, almost on a, on a weekly basis when the weather gets good. And you ought to see it now. It's, it has, it's got shards of clay all over it. It's <laughs> just, so we'll be, we'll be going in and picking that up uh, probably in the fall. But... Yeah. Um, but it's, it really is just a, just a great facility. And it is available. You can find out more at the website. Yeah. I know you have an annual meeting. It, it op it's open all winter. It's open yeah. all winter. Yeah, it is right. open all winter. Down in yeah. So, so yeah. you can see the smashed pigeon yeah. on so, the snow. Well, well yeah. Five, <laughs> it, 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 Tom mentioned five stand. Yeah. Uh, it's a 60-foot yeah. long facility yeah. uh, with, uh, I think, six of, five or six shooting ports. Uh, and there are machines set up out Right. Uh, in front of it that can simulate oh, a, a partridge, can simulate a rabbit, can simulate uh, a duck that flies straight up. And, and so you never know what, what's coming. Ah. And it's, it, it, it's got a computer base, yeah. so somebody that's operating it can always surprise you with uh, a clay flying off like it <laughs> might be a teal <laughs> going straight up or some such thing. It's a great facility. Oh, that sounds fun. Very, very nice. Yeah. yeah. And, I mean, and, and, it, and it provides indoor shooting on exactly. inclement days. Yeah. And I know that uh, it is available, and of course, uh, some of the law enforcement people use it as well. Um, that annual <laughs> meeting, that's an important thing. Cause yes, it is. There's going to be great things to eat there. I know that's not the key focus. Maybe you can tell <laughs> us what we'll be discussing and where and when. So it's on March 30. Yeah. 
uh, it's a Saturday, and it runs from 5 to 8. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's at the shipyard right here. We have uh, a comedian coming in from <coughs> Boston, Paul Nardizzi, who is going to entertain us. Um, it could be a social hour at the beginning of it, so yeah. we hope folks turn out. Uh, it's $30. And uh, if you want to uh, want to partake in this repast, then uh, send a check. Send a check into, and I've, I've, I've got to read this because I'm to Elaine Smith at uh, where is she? Did 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 uh, Jeanette prepare notes for you? <laughs> uh, no. Well, yeah. Well, no. Perhaps. Jeanette. Jeanette asked me to do this, yeah, but, but, yeah. I, so, I, you know, I'm sorry that I, I wanted to wear Jeanette's outfit, but she wouldn't let me borrow it. Well, you're in luck because I have it right here. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I've always loved Jeanette, but she reached a new height that day. We love she, her. She, we love her. She, she just said it was Jeanette. We, we would have paid her. money to see you in the outfit like yeah. that, but maybe this next year. Uh, so the annual meeting is coming up. You can join the club because it's a lot of fun. You guys do a lot of fun things. Yeah, we do. You know? We do. And uh, what a great mission statement. And I, you know, I guess we can we could definitely use that energy now. I think yeah. uh, uh, in this time period. Thank you very much yeah. for joining us and braving the storm. You're going skiing, you guys. I am. Aren't you? Thank you so much. Appreciate <laughs> yeah, it. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Stay with us. Uh, Lionel is joining us. Lionel is joining us, and he's going to talk about happy tunes, and uh, we're going to talk about. Well, a couple of different things. You ought to hang out because we're going to do it now. See Sugarloaf through the eyes of a child at the brand new Amos and Friends store. Offering sweets, treats, toys, apparel, and more for the littlest loafers. Now open daily on Main Street in the Sugarloaf Village. Great Northern Cabinetry has been making fine quality, handcrafted cabinetry designed for kitchens, baths, and many other areas of your home since 1972. Tastes and designs change, but quality craftsmanship and great value do not. Offering a huge selection with competitive prices, Great Northern Cabinetry can make that one-of-a-kind cabinet to meet your unique needs. Contact Authorized Dealer, Birchwood Interiors, and Village West to create the perfect design for your home. The Town of Carabasset Valley Summer Trail Crew is hiring for both experienced and new employees for this summer. The crew is responsible for building and maintaining the growing bicycle trail network in the region. Do you enjoy working outside? Do you have experience operating heavy equipment? Or do you participate in the sport of mountain biking and are looking to learn the skills and art of trail building with your own two hands? Well, we are looking for you. The town is an equal opportunity employer who provides competitive pay and flexible scheduling. Ideal candidates include recent high school or college grads, those with experience with small engine tools or heavy equipment, and those looking to begin or expand upon a growing career opportunity offered in the challenging forest economies of the Northeast region. Please visit the Recreation Department page on the town website at carabassetvalley.org for more information or to apply. We look forward to hearing from you. The one-stop shop for all your alpine needs. Downhill Supply Company carries goods and gear from the ski industry's top manufacturers and offers the latest in ski tuning technology. Let our friendly and knowledgeable staff get you geared up for any mountain adventure. Located in the heart of the Sugarloaf Village and open daily. Oh, we're back. Oh, no friends on a powder day as the captain of reports and joins us live uh, as, as uh, Carl Strand just went by and blew him off. He did wave, though. He was friendly. Yeah. Said, oh, yeah. Later. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, it's understandable, Kip. You know, you, you get out there. People are jealous of you. You get out there, get the first tracks. 
it's always very sunny and beautiful all the time, and your life is just a dream. Oh, oh life is but a dream. Oh, look at that. I knew I'd trigger that. Thanks. Yeah, Song right. in your heart, waiting to get out. Well, the official report, I've got Greg, and I did go in um, with the ski patrol with a, uh, a yardstick, 23 inches top of the skyline. Yeah, 23 inches in the woods. We, we went down 23 inches. Uh, it may be 22 and a half. It may be 23 and a half. But we, we took a bunch around and came up with 23 inches of new snow. It's really light. It's really light. It's going to push around a lot. Even though it gets tracked up, it's still so light you can ski right through it. It's not like those, some of those heavier powder days where once it's tracked up, it's really tough. But no, right now, it's just, it, you push right through it. It's, it's really good. They do have King's Landing and Hayburner tote road groom from the top, from the top of the sky. So if you want to just take a groomer uh, and just go off to the sides, get some powder, and then come back, they're in good shape. Although the snow is so soft, they get run up a little bit. But nothing that's, it's, the snow is so soft, you just ski right through anything you see. It's, it's great. It's, it's absolutely great skiing. However, it's not, it's not March. It feels like January out here, not March. It's pretty chilly, so dress accordingly, right? And uh, if you need some wide skis, Greg, yeah, you know where you can get them, right over the Downhill Supply Company or the Sugar Shack. Go right in and see Aiden or, or John, and they'll set you right up. Well, thank you Even very though much, Captain. We appreciate it, and uh, hopefully you got some sunscreen on because we got sunshine now. And That's it. And That's like, I'm just getting the cabana, cabana around here, around here and here. some umbrella drinks for the day. And you were wishing you wore your wicking layer because you've done all that Ooh. shoveling. But next oh, time you'll man. do it. That's another Thanks. story for another time, Greg. Thank you. Well, I, learned some, I learned some new words, I tell you. <laughs> thanks. We appreciate it. We, and uh, uh, thanks for that report. Thanks, Cap. And joining us here in the chair this morning, very privileged to have uh, even, you know, we had to make an appointment. But here he is, and uh, Leonel is joining us from Happy Tunes. Look at that. It's that logo, the Happy Tunes logo. It's a, the look of quality. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, so uh, how was your trip in? What, what did, uh, what did uh, Kip say, 21 he said inches? 21 inches. How about you? Yeah. What say you? My shovel was definitely 24. 24 inches. I raise you three. I, yeah. <laughs> well, that's what we were told this morning, 24 average. Of course, you know, with the blowing around, who knows where it ends up. Uh, and we're hoping maybe the backside will open, you know, some soon time. We don't know when, uh, but it would be a fun. Happy Tunes is here, and, you know, we. it seems almost uh, unusual now because of all this snow to talk about putting away your skis. But the snow won't last forever, will it? Well, you, you, you came down, uh, you and Andy came down, what was it, a week ago, two weeks ago? Yeah, yeah. And uh, you might have, you know, started to wipe the tears off my face. You yeah, know, we were just were. kind of crying for, that's it. It's, you know, it's March, middle March, early March. It yeah. feels like it's April already. Wait a minute. We're there. W wait a minute. Yeah. Right? Uh -huh. So it's cool. I mean, that's, uh, you know, it's, that's really refreshing, right? And you can, you can see and feel the excitement. I mean, it's... Uh, it's vibrant. It is. They're giddy. I like it. Yeah. I like it a lot. Well, you know, this powder is great. And if you're looking maybe uh, to, to get some skis, when we were down there, there was someone buying a whole rig for someone on there. But there was so much selection. There were so many different things, choices down there. Yeah, we had brought in a bunch more skis. Yeah. Uh, so there are a lot of skis down there now. The and. Too. uh and it's uh, it's sale season, right? So I mean, it's uh, we have we, we've put everything on at thirty percent off. Um, there are some skis, you know, some of the older skis are always on sale, so they might already be at 40, 50, 60 percent off, whatever. But it's the uh, the majority of the wall now that is uh, blanketed at thirty percent off. It's pretty cool shopping. You don't have to worry so much about pricing. You really pick out the model that you need, and you know that it's on sale no matter what. So it's a good time to shop and. Um, uh, it's going to stay at 30% off for uh, the next couple of weeks here. Mm -hmm. the, uh, you know, it's sale season. Will it go more? I, it, probably as the wall just shrinks, we'll, we'll probably have another sale stay at some tuned, point. Stay tuned. Yeah. Uh, Mid-April, maybe, yeah. something. Yeah. But as I usually say, don't wait too long because the ski that you want is yeah. there's, there's one pair in the right size of the right model. Waiting with you. Yeah. yeah for you. you got to grab it. 
But as the season ends, again, uh, a service that, that you offer that is, seems to be very unique and uh, make a lot of sense is, of course, you're, um, you put the skis away for the summer and uh, you sing to them, you, uh, you nurture them, and you uh, have them ready for next year, right? But there's more to it than that, isn't there? Uh, it is the tune in Happy Tunes. Yeah. It is the tune in yeah. Happy Tunes. We, we, we sing joyous tunes to the skis as they I've sleep. I've seen you guys summer. holding hands and singing in there sometimes. <laughs> it's, a great, it's a great sight. <laughs> but you're right. They, they, you know, Happy Tunes, I mean, we're, we're very and keen on being very service-oriented. Okay. Um, you know, we, we, we pride ourselves in the uh, ski service side of things, tuning skis, repairing skis. Uh, we pride ourselves in, 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 in mounting bindings. Uh, I'd like to say better than anybody else and in a greater variety just there's not much that we don't touch or don't mount um, we like a challenge um, we do a lot of boot fitting and, and um, as you know the maybe it's worth repeating that all the boot fitting that we do is always by appointment mm -hmm. uh, whether it's a new boot whether it's a used boot whether it's a tweak or a fix um, so please make sure folks to remember to you know it's well worth calling ahead and uh, scheduling the time um, on the, at the end of the season, indeed, we do the tune-in store, um, which we've done now for, you know, it seems like since the beginning, 25-plus years, uh, which is a great program. It's, it's, it grows every year. Uh, there are a few hundred pairs of skis that stay in a dry storage area down at, uh, at Happy Tunes. So one would, in, in anticipation of putting their skis away, um, you would drop them off. We tune them the way that we would ready to ski, uh, but then we just add a, uh, an additional layer of storage wax on it to seal them up, uh, prevent any sort of oxidation that may take place over the course of the uh, summer of inactivity. And then we'll take the binding tension down, mm -hmm. um, which, you know, we, I think from a liability perspective, the manufacturers don't really recommend that anymore. It used to be that it was kind of the norm. You would take the right. bindings down. But I think it's more from the perspective of, uh, you know, if in doubt, don't touch your bindings. Obviously, we're pretty comfortable touching bindings, and the reasoning is simply that... Touching bindings for years. Yeah. <laughs> the reasoning is simply that, you know, this is all mechanical. It's spring-loaded. Yeah, yeah. Um, There's a stress on it. So why keep the stress on the spring? A spring that is uh, activated on a fairly sure. um, constant period is, you know, it's going to work just fine. But if it stays, sits like this for an extended amount of time, no, it's, you're better off taking right. the tension down for sure. And so in the fall, right, so that goes to sleep, and then in the fall, um, most people will, right around homecoming weekend, drop off a boot and then instruct us to awaken them, basically, where we'll, uh, we'll use that boot to recalibrate the binding, um, readjust them, and then test them, function test them. Mm -hmm. And then we'll scrape off the excess wax and go and put a pli and apply a, a ready-to-ski wax for the next time that they're up. I think we have some footage of uh, the skis ready for... Uh, it, it, it's like a ceremony, and they're lined up on either side of your hallway. They're ready to go as people get ready for the season, and they're all right there ready to go, and you grab them. You don't have to worry about yeah, them. Yeah, that's it. Because, uh, you know, when the season starts, everyone wants to get them tuned, of course. And then it's then it's a mad rush, yeah. Then it's right. a mad so, rush, right? Um, uh, so do yourself a favor, and then you, you won't have to keep moving around in the basement and things of that sort, uh, or heaven forbid, get rust on them, right? Uh, so uh, lots of different services down there. I, I mean, has anyone ever cut their finger because they're so sharp like a Ginsu knife? Uh, yeah, and when they do, they usually uh, let us know. Yeah. yeah With a certain it. sense of pride, actually. <laughs> you know, you know, you just bring clean cut, cut. You bring cutting edge to just a new level, Leonel. Uh, Leonel, we're happy to. We're going to come back because we're going to talk about some summer activity. I know it's snowing, but still, we got some cool stuff to talk about. We'll be right back. WSKI TV 17 weather report is brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. Visit them in the village or online at sugarloafmountainside.com. Morning skiers and riders, Sugarloaf and Carabas Valley. Hope you're ready for a great day enjoying the fresh snow. Just about two feet of new accumulation uh, throughout the day on Saturday and over overnight last night so we're looking good for today mix of sun and clouds we'll see base temperatures 25 to 29 degrees with a noticeable breeze from the west 15 to 25 at the base 
Summit temperatures 12 to 16 with a northwest breeze gusty up there. So we'll have to keep an eye on any wind holds first thing this morning. Be sure to stay tuned to the Mountain Report and we'll keep you updated. Looks like for the day on Monday, we'll see base temperatures right around freezing. See uh, southeast breeze 12 to 18 miles an hour, partly sunny skies. With summit temperatures 29 to 30 uh, to 23, or uh, 19 to 23, I should say, with a southeast breeze once again, just barely noticeable up towards the summit. For Tuesday, partly sunny skies, a high of 34. Cloudy skies for Wednesday with a high of 39. Then we could see some unfrozen precip head into our area Wednesday night into Thursday. As you can see, a chance of some showers there on Thursday at the end of the week. Trail report brought to you by Birchwood Interiors. Find them in Village West. 23 inches of new snow is the average around. Much more up higher on the hill. 159 trails of skiing and ride on 10 lifts getting you there. 70 trails on the groomers list. And we're looking at powder and packed powder surfaces. 8 o'clock snubber. We'll get you up to Base Lodge, Skidway, and Sawduster. Move you around the base area at 9 o'clock. The uh, Muscalator gets going. Double Runner West, Super Quad, and Skyline get going at 8.30 as well. And King Pine and Wolf Tree servicing the east sides of the mountain. They get going at 8.30. Bucksaw Express, the new quad, gets going at 8.30. And 9 a.m. Timberline is scheduled to go, winds and weather permitting. We'll keep you updated on that. Uh, as far as grooming, the groomers were out there last night. Timberline, Bridal Chain, Tote Road, King's Landing, and Hayburner, as well as Haywire. Over on the east side, Hallback, Ram Down, Lower East Side, Springboard, Pole Line, Stubbs, Buckboard, Cruiser, Two Hall, Wolf Tree, Slasher, and Rollway. And on the west side, Scoot, Windrow, Horseshoe, Lower Glancer, West Mountain, Good Chance, as well as Chipper, Lower Hatchet, Bucksaw, Lower Feller Buncher, Whistlepunk, Lower Beaver Tail, and Lower Knot Bumper. And uh, be sure to check the daily report as far as the uphill travel goes. Looking around to the uh, base area, all those trails groomed out. Lower Winters Way, Candy Side, Boardwalk, the Landing Birches, and Sobrook. The terrain parks get smoothed out every night as well. So get out there and enjoy it. This new snow will be great. Winter's back. Skiing is good at the Outdoor Center. They're grooming as they can. And the, Lord, uh, the Lodge and Nordic Shop is open as well with some great deals. The Anti-Gravity Complex, a great spot for your indoor activity right down at the bottom of the access road. And today, you'll find the Rack Rescue Breakfast Shack open from 7 to 11. And this afternoon is Dyer and the Daydreamers uh, playing some live music down at the Rack. Carabasa Valley Town Manager position is open. Applications can be found at the town website, carabasavalley.org. And check out our quad camp so you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain in real time. So you can know before you go some other information and whatnot on there as well. And check us out on social media as well as streaming. Lots of ways to watch us. Channel 17 here locally as well as WSKITV.com, the Spectrum app, and Roku. And we've got Watch and Win on Reggae Weekend. So be sure to tune in. Hi, my name is Barb Larson, and I've been a sugar loafer since I was about 10 years old. My favorite way to spend the day at Sugarloaf is without a doubt with my daughter and my husband taking some turns on the mountain. We live here, we work here, our kids are in the programs. We have our finger on the pulse of the market every single day. If you're looking to buy or sell, please come and visit. We're nearly ski in, ski out, right off of Main Street at Sugarloaf. All right, we are back, looking colorful out there, contrast against that, uh, and depending on where you're from, we're going to say just about two feet of snow, uh, and we are loving that. Leonel from Happy Tunes is here, and uh, we've got so much to talk about, because, you know, you love the winter, and you're very busy in the winter, but i got to believe that one of your favorite things to do is to go kayaking, and what a wonderful thing to share with people. Do you share it? Greg, what, what, what a cue. I should take it. <laughs> I just threw it right at you, didn't I? <laughs> I yeah, it. when winter, I mean, so we, uh, come on, we're Mainers, yeah. long winter. Yeah. Um, I think we all kind of look pretty fondly towards, uh, towards summer. Different seasons. Change of seasons, change of pace. I might even shave when, <laughs> no, when, when summer comes about yeah. um, in order to take to the woods. I've had the good fortune for, for 30 plus years now um, to uh, take summers and... Uh, and enjoy the main summers by taking to the woods, um, because things need, need a name. It's it's called um, Maine kayak expeditions, um, 
At one point, I did it pretty commercially with, with a team of guides and running multiple trips. You know, now it's, it's very low key. It's really, it's just me. But things need a name, so it's called Maine Kayak Expeditions. It's not just me, it's with you. With me, yeah. that's right, yeah. Uh, because who is with me? Well, for the past several years, for the past 10 or so years, um, I've kind of devoted to doing this just with kids. So usually it's, um, it's 13 years old and up, depending on the, uh, the, the, the medium that we use. Mm -hmm. um, there's, a, uh, there's a, a shorter trip that we do. So these are wilderness trips. You know, think of them as uh, um, uh, an outward bound or, or Knowles type of uh, experience where uh, the idea is to take a group of, uh, in this case, teenagers, take them into the woods, uh, do away with electronics, uh, social pressures, um, kind of have a blank slate and... Uh, and uh, see how that feels. And, and see how that feels, right, exactly. And it's a... Well, I, I think that everybody is always a little apprehensive uh, at first, but it's remarkable how quickly one sets. We're adaptable people, you know. Mm -hmm. It's remarkable how quickly one sets into the new pace and uh, and the relationships that are created and the skills that are acquired. And That's the, a key uh, point too. The skills it, that are acquired. It's just huge. Yeah, it's amazing. And we're looking at some of that footage now. So we'll use a you know we'll use usually either sea kayaking or uh, whitewater kayaking to create the. Uh, uh, you know, the, 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 and, and, and add, I should say an added tool to the experience, uh, like others might use hiking or uh, canoeing, uh, which I've done a lot of as well. But I really like the kayaking aspect of it, um, whether it is uh, sea kayaking. We're looking at pictures right now where we're actually using sea kayaks, expedition sea kayaks. You can store, you know, a week's worth of gear and food in there. Uh, on that particular trip, um, this is known as the Flagstaff Explorer. We use a local resource here, right up on uh, Flagstaff Lake, and we go for the week, uh, hopping around islands, camping around the lake, including a uh, day hike of uh, of Bigelow. We can see Sherloaf in the background here on a nice summer day. Um, it's a uh, this is a shorter trip that caters to uh, a younger age group. Um, we'll also use whitewater kayaking. So that is by far the most powerful medium that I've ever uh, played with, uh, well beyond canoeing or hiking or rock climbing. Whitewater kayaking is, uh, I like to call it the great equalizer. Um, is it the introduction of a new skill? Is it the, 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 the flowing medium, the water, right, that we're just not, it's pretty hard to be instinctive on, uh, on water. You have um, to react, right? Yeah, it's, uh, it's actually kind of interesting. Skiers do quite well with it. You know, there's like skiing in the of, woods. There's balance, there's picking your line, there's the sort of uh, concentration that it requires to mm -hmm. uh, push off and go, come out of the eddy. Um, this is an amazing, amazing experience. The whitewater kayaking is a little bit more instruction intensive, so usually that is a, at least a two week long trip. Mm -hmm. And we'll go for at least, um, well, let's see, this summer it's going to be, uh, we're gonna do on the Rapid River. There's our photos that we're watching right now from the Rapid River. Yep. Um, there's going to be a trip that we'll do from July 7th through the 22nd. Um, that caters to 14-year-olds and up. Mm -hmm. um, and that particular trip is no previous experience required. Everything is included other than your personal, you know, uh, you're going to bring your personal sleeping bag, your personal sleeping pad, your, your articles of clothing. But all the camping, all the paddling, all the tripping uh, gear is included in the uh, in the trip, uh, cost, I, you know, I wish I could make it oh so affordable. Unfortunately, all these things cost money. It's pretty equipment intensive. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, this 16 day trip is, uh, what is it? It's uh, 2099, um, but it is all inclusive. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and overall a pretty good value when one starts looking at what this sort of experience usually costs. And that's been, you know, I'm pretty keen on that. Again, I've got a low overhead. I've been doing it for years and years and years. Um, it's less of a business proposition for me as it is just an opportunity to and go I, and take I, I got to believe that you, you just really enjoy the sharing part of it because there is a lot to share, right? There is. There's a, um, you know, it's, it, it reminds me that there's a great personality who, uh, who just passed away. Coach Tom Reynolds just passed away. Sure, uh, Tom sure. Reynolds was... Uh, you know, the mentor for yep. dozens, hundreds of us here at, uh, at Sugarloaf and uh, within the uh, uh, adjacent communities. Um, and having been uh, one of the many disciples of uh, Coach Reynolds, there's things that come to my mind where coaching is teaching, teaching is coaching. You know, you, you, 
you go through life, you acquire skills, you acquire knowledge, right? You, uh, you try to put all that together to uh, start networking and getting resources. You try to build your reputation. Well, once you've got that package together, what is there? Right. There is teaching. There is trying to pass it on, right? right? I mean, that's, that's, the, that's the idea. And for hopefully completing the loop so that those that you're passing it on to might be able to do so as well. That one worries me a little bit. I, I think this might be the last year for me of doing wilderness trips. Oh. <laughs> 30 plus years, uh, just because, you know, it's fairly physical, it's intensive, it yeah. needs uh, proper leadership. Um, and I don't know, hopefully we'll be sitting here next year and I'll be revisiting. Um, but I think of, of folks like Coach Reynolds who, who dedicated their lives to, uh, you know, to teaching, to, 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 to nurturing, to trying to bring the best out of people. Um, and ultimately, that is the goal on those trips. And I think of uh, all those wilderness trip experiences, whether it is mine, but al also the likes of Outward Bound, or, or um, you know, for me, great mentorship was gained at Chowanke, right. uh, amazing programs that they do there mm -hmm. as well. Um, that's really the value behind it, creating, creating good people mm. in a simple life, um, you know, away from a lot of the everyday distractions that um, we can't avoid, but it's nice to know that there's, there are other ways. Well, we'll talk about that retirement next year, because you never know, right? A great trip, but opportunity, uh, it sounds to me like this could be an opportunity for someone uh, uh, of a lifetime. Uh, so great opportunity, and if you, uh, if you, you know, if there are folks out there who have kids who are uh, a little bit adventure prone, yeah. Um, yeah, um, best way to do that is to get in touch with me, uh, Lionel, at Happy Tunes. Uh, its uh, phone number is 207-235-TUNE, 235-8863. Um, best probably is email, happy at skihappytunes.com. One word, happy at skihappytunes.com. Um, there will be, uh, we talked about the uh, July 7th through the 22nd, mm -hmm. two weeks. No previous experience required. There's going to, another trip that we're going to do, but this one will require previous experience. So that's going to likely to be returnees or kids who have had previous uh, paddling experience, whitewater experience, because this is going to be another whitewater expedition from the 14th through the 29th of July. Um, and then for maybe slightly younger, starting around 13 years old, a shorter trip, one-week trip that we'll use, again, using... Um, um, Bigelow and Flagstaff Lake um, to go and uh, it's a great introduction to wilderness stripping and that's a shorter trip, a one week trip that will take place later in um, in August this year it looks like it's going to be August 18th through the, uh, the 24th and that usually caters to more like 13 to 15 year olds mm -hmm. um, the early bird price on that one if uh, one signs up before April, before the end of April is $7.75 and I think there is, I think there are a couple spots left on that one as well. You've been yeah. talking about it the rest of your life. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, if someone goes on the trip, there may be someone you, you say, you know what, there may be someone to pass the baton on to. Who knows? You might make that person this trip. If you can find out more, give them a call, 207-235-TUNE. That's very clever, by the way, how you did that. Thank you, Lionel. A pleasure to see you, my friend. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much for coming in the studio. I appreciate it. What's your favorite thing to eat here at the bag? Bag burger. Bag burger. Love the baked potato, actually. Half in the bag punch. I love the lifty lemonade. Cheeseburger soup, very good. Pepperoni pizza. Uh, burger. Yeah, Valentine. Pastrami sandwiches. Uh, chicken wings. Bag burger. Cheese pizza. Bag burger. Whatever's on the menu. All of it. The Sugarloaf Sports and Fitness Center offers guests a variety of relaxation and fitness options with an indoor pool, hot tubs, weight room, racquetball courts, full service spa and salon, and cafe. Offering a variety of food options like pizza, sandwiches, salads, and breakfast items, they'll even feed you as well. Grab a hot tub or a slice of pizza today located on Mountainside Road or ski there via the Birches Trail. There's no end to the adventures along the many trails in the main high peaks. However, there is a single location where all adventures should finish. The trails end in Eustace Village. For whatever trails you use, there's only